Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to my video. So, here's the situation right now with my car. I am parked right now. You know, I am parked right now at, you know, at a CVS. And my car is not starting. Um, it's... I, I don't know, man. Uh, you know, I... Uh, I drove this car. This car was driving fine. Um, but to be honest with you, this car did have some issues starting, um, I would say, sporadically, probably. Um, you know, it had issues uh, starting sporadically. Like, once a month, I would have issues with it. But this time, not nothing. I mean, I, you know, those other times when it wouldn't start, I was able to do some stuff. Not going to start or try to get it to start, but unfortunately, this time, um, nothing, absolutely nothing. So, what happens is, um, when I try to start it, when I try to start the motor, what happens is, all I hear is one click. Um, this car, you know, I must have driven it 20 miles before I got to this, this spot. Uh, was going to pick up something from uh, CVS and uh, just drive off but unfortunately um i'm in this situation where my car is not starting so here's what i've done so far as far as trying to troubleshoot it all right this situation here is a situation where there is no cranks the, the car does not crank at all all right i'm hearing one click no other noise it's absolutely silent so I was like, maybe it could be the battery, maybe it could be the fuse, a fuse that's causing it. But here's the funny part is that nothing else it has an issue. The dash lights work, um, the radio works, um, you know, the fan blower motor works. Obviously, I'm not getting AC out of this car. Um, reason being, uh, you know, you gotta have the car running for that to to work. Uh, if it's not a hybrid, this car is not a hybrid. So, so hit, that's the issue that I'm having right now. Um, I got out and uh, I did get two people to try to jump the car. All right. First time didn't work. I thought, well, <clears throat> maybe I'll try another car. See if I could jump it. Try to jump it. Same thing happened. You know, click, click. Silence every time I try to turn it on, click, click. So obviously at this point I have you know I'm I'm getting the feeling that you know it's the starter that's the problem. You know, um you know it's not the alternator. I mean that's always the other thing that, that people are considering when their car dies, but normally when uh the car dies uh, and it's the alternator that's the issue. Normally that car uh, is running and dies on the road while you're driving it. That's normally the norm. But unfortunately, it's not the case with this situation. Uh, my car uh, was running fine. I parked it. It was running fine when I parked it. Got into, uh, the, um, got into the pharmacy. Spent about 10 minutes shopping. Got, a, got back into my car. Tried to start it. Nothing happened. So what I did was I tried to test out the headlights, see if the you know see if the the, the, the beams on the light uh, was uh, was weak. It wasn't weak. It was a strong beam. I turned on my high beam. It's strong. Not a problem there. So second thing I did was um, I tried to check out. I tried to check out my fuses. Funny thing is, I do have a fuse tester with me. I do keep a couple of things in my car uh, just for these kinds of situation. I test out all the fuses. All the fuses works without a problem at all. So at that point, uh, I, you know, I'm pretty sure it's the starter considering if a fuse goes out, there's a couple of things that would happen or could happen, and if fuse goes out on you, uh, sometimes you would get absolutely no, nothing on dash, which means that there there is a blown fuse, 
uh, particularly a blown fuse, a uh, main blown fuse, but this is not the case uh, considering everything lights up. Not a problem. All right, and uh, there's nothing that looks weird or odd. There's nothing that looks weird or odd um, uh, with, the, with the display, with the dash, with the display, with the, with the um, uh, radio. Nothing at all looks weird. It doesn't look like there's any kind of lights that are out. Any kind of, I'm not getting check engine lights. I'm not getting any of that stuff. So not a problem. And it's not cranking. I've had situations where cars, even my car with blown fuse would crank, but it won't start up. It won't, it won't turn over. This situation, I'm not getting a crank at all. It's not starting over. I mean, it's not turning over. And, uh, so my next thought about that was, well, it could be a relay. It could be a relay that's causing it. All right. So your next thought on that is maybe it's the relay that's causing it. So I was like, all right, you know, I did take out the starter relay, um, see if it was rusty, see if there's any kind of dirt on it, see, see if there's any, any, anything that would, uh, keep it from, uh, conducting electricity through the, um, <clears throat> through the stems of the relay. Um, it does happen, but in, in, in some of these cases where the relays, um, are, you know, in, in some cases it does happen, but, uh, I took the relay out, cleaned the relay, put it back in, nothing. And, uh, I was pretty sure it wasn't the relay that was causing it. A uh, reason I was sure that it wasn't the relay that was causing it, um, is this, um, is this, I, I, I actually do hear a click. I do hear a click. So, uh, if it was the relay that was causing it, you would not hear that click from the solenoid. You would not hear the click from the solenoid at all. All right. If that's the case. So what happens is, all right, the, uh, when, once you try to turn on your car, the electricity goes through the relay, the relay goes to the starter and that would actually, uh, start up. Now, if I heard nothing, if I had no clicks whatsoever, no clicks, no sounds whatsoever, you know, it might just be the relay that's causing it. It could be. Rare chance it's a relay that's causing it. But since I was hearing a click, that's actually the solenoid going off. All right. I didn't hear any kind of firing off of the, of the solenoid, but it was, it was, um, it was at least a click. So I know the solenoid was at least clicking. So at that point, I knew that it probably was not the relay that was causing it. So what I did was, you know, I went out the car and I tried to bump bump the starter. If you guys don't know what that is. It's me, uh, you know, some starters are pretty, um, it's, it's right there. You know, some starters are right there. Other starters, you know, are in uh, weird places. I did try to bump the starter. And uh, nothing happened. Try to bump the starter. Nothing happened. All right. Nothing happened whatsoever. And unfortunately, uh, it didn't start up. And uh, at that point, I knew it was the starter. And uh, unfortunately, I got to get my car towed. You know, got to get my car towed. And... Uh, and uh, put that starter in, but uh, I think, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do, guys. All right, all right, guys. So, so I did get a tow, and uh, you know, I did get the starter put in. So, what do you guys think happened? It was the starter. It was the starter that went out on me. Um, unfortunate thing is I bought that starter about a year ago probably put in like I don't know at most 25,000 miles on it and uh, it died out on me within a year uh, this is a starter I bought from it's a remanufactured starter uh, I bought from a, um, an auto shop you know it's a remanufactured starter um, if you guys I won't, I won't actually ever buy a remanufactured of anything again, alternator starter, because my alternator that I have on my car, um, this is like, that's like the third alternator I went through within a year and a half. All right. Last two was, um, the last two 
were, were alternators that I got from uh, uh, an auto place, auto parts place, and uh, you know both were warranted, both were uh, both were warranted and uh, one year warranty. But here's the thing about it: regardless of whether there's a warranty on it, you guys still, if you guys, if you're not doing it yourself, even if you're doing it yourself, you're gonna have to spend time doing it. Or pay somebody to do it and uh, that's the part that's expensive all right the part itself shouldn't go out on you within a year okay these parts do unfortunately so the starter was a remanufactured re rebuilt starter so I, I you know had to go out had to buy a starter from eBay fortunately there was a, a junkyard that was selling it that was close to me got it had it put in and uh, start it up right away. Um, I'm pretty sure this star that I got, it's an OEM originally from the manufacturer, and uh, this is gonna work a lot better than the than than the uh, remanufactured rebuilt star that I got. Uh, and uh, you know, uh, for now on, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna buy uh, rebuilt, refurbished, re remanufactured starters. I'm not gonna do that. All right, it's not worth it. I mean, that's my personal thought thought on it. Uh, but regardless, if you guys have any comments, uh, please uh, leave, me, leave me your comments in your comments section. And uh, I would definitely, definitely uh, get back to you. If you have any questions or whatever, please give me a thumbs up. Please uh, subscribe. All right, guys. Take